President's budget proposal for NASA, working to keep America the world's leader in innovation, space exploration, scientific discovery, and inspiration for the benefit of humanity for generations to come. We don't just look to the future, we're making it happen. One. Helping more U.S. companies bring cargo. And liftoff. Liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Launching Dragon to the International Space Station and returning cargo resupply missions to U.S. soil. And by 2017, launch astronauts from American soil to the International Space Station while creating new jobs here at home. I'm excited about the opportunities that we're able to provide with NASA's Centennial Challenges program. We advance technologies not only for NASA, but for the nation as a whole. Propel the Space Launch System and Orion toward the President's bold path to lead humans to an asteroid in 2025 and eventually onto Mars in the 2030s. We're building and testing our first capsule right now, and we'll get to see it launch into space next year for our first flight test. We're upgrading and modifying the crawlers for the next generation spacecraft, and we'll be launching soon. Now transitioning to uh, SLS, um, it's really been rejuvenating uh, to work on America's next launch system. And aboard station, helping us learn how to live and work in space. NASA does impossible pretty darn well. While we prove new technologies and conduct science research to improve life here on Earth. Our investigations into early onset osteoporosis in astronauts may enhance the detection of osteoporosis in patients here on Earth. The President's budget proposal funds innovations in space technology that will enable tomorrow's discoveries across NASA's wide spectrum of missions while fueling our economy for years to come. Pushing data to the user is really key. Users can always use more data, especially the scientific community. Game-changing technologies may help advance our date to visit an asteroid as early as 2021. Through an unprecedented feat of technology innovation and scientific discovery, NASA will work to identify, capture, and move an asteroid, raising the bar for human exploration and help inform us on how to better protect our home planet. NASA's balanced portfolio of groundbreaking science missions will continue to monitor and collect critical data about Earth's climate and systems. We do a lot of work in the polar region where we've taken scientists and instruments that can measure the thickness of ice. Not only can they measure how, how high it is above the sea level, but they can actually measure through the ice down till they reach water and then through that till they reach bedrock. To understand our beginnings, spacecraft are speeding to Jupiter, Pluto, and Ceres. I'm excited about my work in cryopropellants because it will help make it possible for us to someday explore the far reaches of our solar system. Peering into other galaxies and spotting planets around other stars. Thousands of planet candidates have been discovered to date, hundreds of which are Earth-sized. The data are already hinting that planets are abundant in the galaxy, and soon we'll know what percentage of stars harbor planets more like our own Earth. They soon will be joined by the revolutionary James Webb Space Telescope to delve farther back in time to the very origins of the universe. We're here in NASA Goddard Space Flight Center's clean room where we're testing the robotic arm that will help assemble the James Webb Space Telescope. And as Curiosity continues roving Mars on history's most daring mission to the Red Planet, NASA is planning another robotic mission to Earth's nearest neighbor, along with current mission MAVEN and InSight. With a budget in place, we're able to continue testing the development of exciting missions to Mars, including the MAVEN mission. With MAVEN, we'll be able to explore whether or not the atmosphere of Mars has evolved over time and if the majority of it has actually been lost in interplanetary space forever. NASA's cutting-edge aeronautics research will continue making air travel safer, cleaner, and quieter for okay, Americans and everyone the world over. NASA's always trying to uh, push research, push boundaries, and one of the things we're trying to do is to bring commercial supersonic travel uh, to the world. We're working closely with other government agencies to mitigate the environmental concerns of aviation, and this project will certainly have an impact uh, looking out five or ten years. Our dynamic weather routes tool is an example of how NASA will improve the future of air transportation. The software will help 
airlines and air traffic controllers find efficient and safe paths for aircraft to fly around bad weather, potentially saving about $100 million each year in operations and fuel costs. And finally, NASA will continue to educate and inspire our children to dream big, work and study hard, and reach for the stars as America's next generation of scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, and astronauts. All you really need to do is, you know, get that spark going in that little kid's mind, you know, about what he can do, and, and they just, you set them off and they get, go out to learn. I love working with young scientists, having their first experience as researchers, because I remember my first experience during research and my first time solving a problem. So I love giving young scientists an opportunity to solve their first problem. And that in itself is building a foundation to take us farther into the future and grow our young engineers. The President's fiscal year 2014 budget proposal ensures United States leadership in space exploration and scientific discovery for years to come, while making critical advances in aerospace and aeronautics to benefit the American people, all in more innovative and cost-effective ways that will inspire the world through exploration and discovery.